Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today is our monthly painter's flower series. Last month, we have made Van Gogh sunflowers. They have received very good feedbacks from you guys. Thank you very much for your support. This month, we have picked another famous painter, Monet's Vase of Chrysanthemums. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First, we're going to wrap the 18 gauge wires with the olive green paper strips. Then we take out some beige grey paper and cut the paper strips according to a template. I would suggest to fold the paper no more than 4 layers that can enhance the accuracy on the paper cuttings. Cut two paper strips for template one, four paper strips for template two, and other three for template three. Color the first template one layer with yellow irregularly. and the second piece with a mix of light orange and yellow. For the second template, we colour the layers with light orange and red. Colour the petals unevenly and leave some white spaces. Only colour two strips of the second template. Leave the other two strips completely blank. For the last template, do the same as the second template. We only need to colour two paper strips. Now we move on to the construction. Take a strip of the layer 1, cut it into half, add a bit of yuho glue to the bottom, gather the bottoms together, and give the bottom a fold. If you are confident enough, you can skip the yuho glue part and add the hot glue immediately. Attach the folded yellow strip to the flower stem. Add a drop of hot glue to the bottom for securing. Wait for it to cool down. Get a pair of tweezers and curl the petals inwards. Add another layer of petals and curl them in the same way. If you found it very difficult to hold the petals together, cut the petals into smaller segments or use the yuho glue method. These methods are more manageable. Place the petals evenly. Add some hot glue to the bottom from time to time to hold the flower in position. Since we are have layers of coloured petals, so we are going to add some white petals to break the sequence. Then add a piece of bright red petals to create a colour contrast. Continue to add the coloured and plain strips to the flower. Do the same with the last template. There's no fixed rules on how the flower should look like. Feel free to add more or less layers. Now we are going to colour the leaves. Cut a strip of light green paper in 3.5 x 10cm. Colour it roughly with some greens. 
I've mixed the green with some yellow, blue, and black. You will need about two to three strips for each flower. After the paper has dried, cut a paper strip with the biggest template. Trim the paper strips into small segments and attach them under the flower with some hot glue. Try to attach the leaves close to the flower stem so the flower looks more tidy. the leaves. Cut the remaining leaves to a single leaf and attach them to the joining points. It will give you a more natural look. Our first light colored Monet chrysanthemum is done. Now we move on to the red chrysanthemums. It is very similar to the colored version, but instead we use pre colored paper in bright red and dark red. Cut the bright red strips into petals. For the dark red petals, we colour the petals with a light shade of black on one side. I've used soft pastel in here, but you can also use acrylic instead. Cut the petals according to the template. Then we move on to construction. Start with a strip of red petals. Then I have add the dark red to one side. I'm trying to focus the red and the dark red in separate areas to create a painting effect so the dark red will look like in the shadow For the bottom leaves of the red flower, I've used a mixture of my coloured leaves and some leaf green leaves.
add a single leaf to the joining points to blend the leaves in. Our red flower is done. Make plenty of them as your bundle. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you will like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates are available on our Etsy shop. Check them out. See you guys next week.